What's up, this is your boy Reggie Beats. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to get started with your Shopify Beats store with a music player. I've made other videos on how to create a Shopify Beats store, but none of them had a music player. So on this one, you'll be able to preview your beats in the most simplest ways possible. There are Shopify apps available as well, which can also make this simpler. But having to pay a subscription fee for a simple music player, uh, it didn't seem quite reasonable to me. I felt like I wasn't using half of my brain's capacity as a programmer, of course. And since I'm a programmer and I'm a music producer, I got you all. I've been giving out a whole lot of gems on my channel and now I'm gonna start giving out exclusive deals to exclusive members just like this starter pack that you're gonna be using to get started with our beat store. What do you mean by that? So I finally joined Patreon and this is the platform where I'll be giving out exclusive content such as templates, starter kits and a lot of more things that will help you take your beat store to the next level. Alright, so enough with the talking, let's get started. We're gonna be working on Shopify as I said. And if you wanna know how to set up Shopify, I have a video in the description below on how to do that or up on the pop-up up there. So as you can see we're in the admin dashboard of Shopify, then you're gonna go to online store and you're gonna go to themes. So this is where we're gonna upload our theme and the theme that you're gonna be using is the starter kit that I spoke about. So to get access to the starter kit, you'd have to join the Beatstorm Maestro membership. So once you join this membership, you'll be able to get this template for free because that's the one that you're gonna be using. I already got it, so I'm gonna go back to my dashboard. So I'm gonna go to this here where it says add theme. Click on upload zip file and click on add file then i'm gonna go look for the file that i've downloaded which is the one that you're gonna get on the patreon there is my template i'm gonna click on open upload file all right then give it a couple of seconds so you can install the theme it's doing all the magic okay all right so now we see our theme has been installed we're gonna click on publish and once you have published, we're gonna go to view store. Here's how our theme is currently looking and not bad so far. As you can see here, we have the dummy product data. We're gonna re replace this with our beads. And this is a banner that we have, which is pretty cool. So let's go back to the dashboard and go to products because we need to add a product, which are beads first. So I'm gonna click on add products. I'm gonna add a so we're gonna add a simple product for this video. So I'm gonna call it beat test one. Then I'm gonna go add an image for it. I'll just look for any image that will look good on it. Let me see. Any image here? Yeah. I'll take the Drake picture. Okay, then click on save. Alright, now we're gonna go back to our website. Refresh. Now we see we have our product here with the Drake picture. But now as we see, we're trying to click on play. Nothing is playing yet because we didn't upload the audio. So for us to upload the audio, we're gonna go back here and we're gonna actually go and add an app, which is called Metafields Guru. That's the app that's gonna help us be able to add our audio so it can be previewed on the collection page or on the shop. So now click on apps and type Metafield guru then click search here's metafield guru click on it click on install click on install app all right now metafield guru is done installing here on the side just pin it to the side so that you can be able to find it easier then we're gonna go to settings and go to permissions click on edit permissions and select recommended permissions click on change click on update app okay now we're gonna go to here where it says products and you will see that you already found our beat here so every beat that you have inside products here it will appear here on the metafield guru this is where we're gonna be adding custom information about our beat on the metafield guru so when i click on this so for us to be able to add an audio, we'll have to create a meta field. So just go to here where it says create meta field, click on the drop down, 
so you can be able to select a file if you just let create it's going to create a text but we want to create a file so I click on file and then here we says namespace just name it product and the key just name it audio and then you select the audio that you want to play when somebody's playing the beat on the beat store so I click on done and that's it then you're gonna click on save so with every beat that you upload you can just add this if you wanted to play in the front end so just make sure you keep the namespace and the key the same and then the beat can be different for every product so now we're gonna go back to our page as you can see currently it's not playing i want to refresh now boom yay it's playing man we got this it's moving let's get it So yeah, that's it. Now we have our music player playing on our Shopify B store. So whatever beat that you add next is gonna add here and it's gonna end up looking like my other side. Let me show you how it looks. So now we can see everything is functional. Our music player is playing. So to add more beats, you just go back to products and add as many beats as you want. So if you want to add licensing and other information, I have another video here to show you how to add licensing. But this video actually the purpose was to show you how to add this music player on a Shopify beat store. If you have learned anything from this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And if you want any more information, I have everything listed on the description. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.